Hello, this is Andrew Dugill with Hoffman Realty, Tampa Property Management, and this is another in our helpful blog series for Tampa landlords, and this one's called The Top 5 Laws That Every Landlord Needs to Study. And there are a lot of laws and regulations that apply to landlords from federal to state to county and even city levels. But today I want to discuss the top five and the top five are all federal laws and federal laws tend to have the most teeth and the biggest penalties if you are to violate them. The first law that you should study as a landlord is the Fair Housing Act. The Fair Housing Act makes it illegal to discriminate against people in certain protected classes and it governs how you advertise your property, how you select your tenants and how you manage your property. You know, I've yet to meet a landlord that wants to intentionally discriminate against someone but you can unintentionally fall foul of this act if you don't study it. The second federal law that you sh should study is the Americans with Disabilities Act. The or the ADA. The ADA is written to ensure equal access and enjoyment of rental property by people who have disabilities. And you should certainly study this act if a potential renter or a current renter comes to you and requests a reasonable accommodation or a reasonable modification under the ADA. I mean this could these could be things like um, a wheelchair bound renter requests a wheelchair ramp, perhaps the counter heights lowered, maybe the doors widened. You should certainly study this act because there are very painful penalties should you violate it. The third law that you should study is the Fair Credit Reporting Act. Now this comes into a play when you run a background screening on a potential renter and you should certainly study the area of the law that applies to adverse action letters should you deny an application or request different terms such as maybe a higher deposit from someone to move forward in, in renting to them. The fourth law that you should study in fact is a regulation for the Federal Trade Commission's red flag rule and you should study the red flag rule before you run a background check on anyone. The red flag rule is designed to protect people from identity theft. The fifth law that you should study is, are the IRS regulations. Once you own rental property, you should keep excellent tax records of the rental property and vendors that you use on your rental property. If you pay them more than $600 in a tax year, you are required to send them a 1099 and submit an informational return to the IRS. So you should study that portion of the IRS regulations. So these are the top five laws that every landlord needs to study. If you have questions about our blog today, pl please contact us. We'll be happy to hear from you. Thank you.